In this video, we're going to continue our work with inductive reasoning. We're going to look at some problems that are a little bit more difficult than the previous ones. You're not adding or subtracting or multiplying. You have to kind of look at that relationship to see what you inductively think the next term is going to be. In these particular ones, uh, there's nothing you could add or subtract or multiply. But if you look at the numbers, 1, 2, 3, Four, you may notice that you are squaring each of these numbers to get the value of the term. So the fifth term would be 5 squared, or 25. Next term would be 6 squared, or 36. So there are your next two terms. This next example right here, it's interesting because if you look at it, 2 plus 3 equals 5. 3 plus 5 equals 8. 5 plus 8 equals 13. So your next term would be 8 plus 13, and that's equal to 21. So in this case, your next term would be 21. Then it would be 21 plus 13, that would be 34, meaning your next term. And the third example here is one which is, has fractions. Since I know it bothers a lot of people, but they're just numbers. So what's happening? You're multiplying each time by one-third. It is a multiplication one. One times one-third equals one-third. One-third times one-third equals one-ninth. And one ninth times one third equals one twenty seventh. So it is one of those ones that we saw before. You just multiplying. There's one more example of inductive reasoning with sequences and terms, which we'll do in our video number three. Hope this helps you a little bit more, and have a very happy day.